Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well, and thank you for watching this clip on decimal fraction and percentage. They're kind of like uh, three musketeers or three cousins, a very important building block of uh, mathematics. So in this clip, uh, I thought it would be prudent to show how do we convert between them and maybe work on one ex specific uh, example. Let's say uh, one of the viewer asked the 5 over 28. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw three blocks. I'm going to see, go through it and I had to convert each one. Okay, so here let's do alphabetically decimal fraction and percentage. Let's see, we started with the easy thing, 0 0.75. If you want to convert a decimal to fraction or percentage, what you need to do uh, is kind of trick the system a little bit. You write 0 0.75 times 100 and divide by 100. Obviously, I didn't change anything because multiply by 100 and over 100, it's really just one. Okay, once you get this step, you have a choice. You can either leave the fraction form, which is 75, 0 0.75 really just over 1. So top times top was 75 over 100, and then simplify it into 3 over 4. Thus is your fraction. Or you can do 75 per 100 and leave the feathers on. I call the 100, it looks like a feather, a peacock feather, this one gets you into a percent. A percent, the sign, it's a French word, it literally, literally means per hundred. Okay, so here we converted successfully from a decimal to a fraction or a percent. Okay, pretty easy. Next one, let's try a fraction, three over four. Right, so we started at the middle one. Now. If you want to convert three over four into a decimal, you're going to have to do long division, 3 over 4, 0 point, point match up, and then I'll put a 0 here. 7 is 28, 2, put a 0, this 0 comes down, and it's 5, so it's 0 0.75. Okay, that's how you convert it from a fraction to decimals. Here's the decimal. Now, from a decimal to Percentage is easy. Let's see, you didn't know that. You want to convert this one to a percentage. And now, a lot of my students say in school, the teacher tells them this. 4 turns times 25 gets to be 100, and then you just multiply top, which is 75. I personally do not like this method because, here's why. If you have a 3C over 17, you'll be stuck. Because there's nothing multiplied by 17 would get you a 100, which means you are totally stuck. What I would recommend actually my student do is set up a proportion in that 3 over 17 is equal to what? Question mark over 100. And then what you do is you cross multiply, which is uh, 3 times 100, 300, is equal to question mark times 17, okay, divided by 17 on both sides, which is 300 divided by 17 is equal to what? And this one happened to equal to, let's see, what is it, 1760.65, I rounded up. So converting 3 over 17 is actually 17.65, 17 17.65 percent. All right, hope that's clear. So from a fraction, you want to do a percentage set up proportion. O -R -T -I -O. Okay, so once again, let's set up a proportion. So it's 3 over 4 is equal to question mark, let's call it x, over 100. And then cross multiply, so you have 300 is equal to 4 times x. And then therefore, x is equal to 75. Okay, it's much easier that way. All right, one last block from a percentage. Let's see, we have a, let's see, we have a 75%. I want to convert this one into a fraction. That's the easiest one. You do 75%, remember what I said is per 100, and then just literally simplify this, becomes 3 over 4. That's your fraction. Okay. If you want to turn into decimal, it's 75 
decimal is over here, you have that percent, you pluck the feather off and then move the decimal twice, it becomes 0 0.75. Okay, if this one is not clear, what you can do is you do 75 divided by 100. This is equal to 0 0.75. Okay, so that becomes your 0 0.75, the same thing. Okay, so that's the general picture how we go decimal to its cousins, and fraction to its two cousins, and percentage to its two cousins. All right, now specifically, let's look at what the, one of the viewers asked. What is 5 over 28 converted into decimal? Uh, if you remember, in order to do 5 over 28, we're going to have to do long division. If you have access to a calculator or your teacher don't mind you doing that, and then this one is pretty easy. It's you plug it into your calculator. It's 0 0.1785, roughly. Okay, let's see on the test. Sometimes I specifically ask my students, show me the division. Okay, so what you do is then you write as many zero as you care to write, and then you do a long division. So one, this is 28. We're going to subtract, and we have 22 over here. Zero comes down. Next to seven, let's say seven is 196 in there. Do another subtraction. Four, and then this zero comes down. And then eight goes there. This is 224. Six, 16, this zero comes down. And you just keep on going. Okay, this one is five, 140, uh, 20, and then this one goes up, um, so on and so forth. Okay, so do you have to do long division? Depends. If your teacher is picky, you do have to do long division. If your pick teacher is not picky, hey, by all means, plug into the calculator. All right, I hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if the video has been helpful. Till next time, have a confident day.